The Moratua Students' Union conducted an extraordinary protest against Saitam at the first T20 between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka on Tuesday. Their protest has come under fire by some sections, but is their criticism warranted? Find out on News Matters. Cricket fans were treated to an unusual spectacle on Tuesday during the Sri Lanka Bangladesh T20 at the R. Premadasa Stadium when a group of university students took occasion to stage a peaceful protest. These students from the University of Moratua, as evinced by the posts on their Facebook page, had decided to use the occasion to protest against the South Asian Institute of Technology and Medicine. The innovative manner in which the students of the Moratua University brought their issue to the international arena has been met with mixed reactions. People of the likes of cricket commentator Roshan Abe Singha were not amused and tweeted, Stupidity has no bounds, hence no point commented. Only sympathize with these kids used as pawns by unscrupulous elements. Several others chimed in, echoing Abe Singha's opinion that a cricket match was not the place to stage a protest. They argued that cricket was a sport untouched by bitter national politics and should remain that way, a game to be enjoyed, not politicized. But despite these views, the majority of the commenters felt that students with their uniformed anonymous masks had used the platform effectively to draw attention to an issue close to heart. Ordinarily, an anti sitem protest would have students in their hordes on the street. Roads would be blocked, traffic congested, tear gas canisters and water cannons used by law enforcement authorities against the students. What is clear with the protest at the R. Premadasa Stadium is that it did not waste the time and the money of the public nor the resources of the state. This is also not the first time the cricket arena has been used to make a political statement. We all remember the occasion in 2010 when an LTT supporter carrying an LTT flag invaded the pitch. We also know that the LTT supporters in London have repeatedly used the occasion of Sri Lanka matches to protest their political cause. This is not to say that cricket or any other sport must be allowed to be tainted by politics or that it should become the newest arena for political protests. But it is certainly less taxing than protests that take up the streets. And since it doesn't take up the time of the people caught in the traffic during protests, or precious water in the water cannons, or the energy and resources of law enforcement officers or the state, you could say the protest by the students of the University of Moratua was a success. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Tuesday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.